Well, it's not really the right idea, but at least he's got the spirit. Rim Rims, another hardcore SK is welcome back to RimWorld, where today I made a little bit of a fucky wucky. Uh, long story short, I recorded about 10 minutes, like really not that much, uh, and the audio was just <laughs> complete garbage, like unusable, not, not recoverable in any way. So I've got a little bit of a recap to go over here between what's happened today and in yesterday's episode. Before we dive in, with response to yesterday's episode, People seem pretty cut and dry on the whole, uh, taking Hardcore SK over to Twitch and then slicing that up into, into VODs. Obviously, I'm not going to have, like, the usual Twitch crap happening. I don't Twitch very often anyway. Um, but obviously, I want to have chat on screen or subs popping up or noises blaring or anime girls bouncing in front of the gameplay or whatever it is that happens on Twitch. I don't understand Twitch, okay? It's just a good way to present a, a much longer, like, way longer than normal, Twi uh, remote campaign. So... There won't be every day. We'll, we'll, we'll do what we can with it, but we'll probably kick that off in... Basically, whenever we've got the series that replaces this off the ground, well, we'll start Hardcore SK over on there. So stay tuned for that. I will... I'll probably put something up in Discord. Anyway, uh, so to catch up on what happened between today and yesterday, we've got, first things first, the prisoner that we um, imprisoned in one of those raids yesterday, one of the medieval faction raids, Eugenia, is now recruited, part of the colony, got her with the setup and everything else, pretty easy to do with word of trust, as we've seen with, uh, with, as we've seen with Arkansas, we had a raid from the Covenant of Brape again, um, they got annihilated, it was a bunch of guys with swords, uh, versus a shitload of people with guns, so it's not really much of a surprise that they did get killed, that was fairly straightforward, now, the other thing that was important, let me open up the history tab here so you can see it, so we had uh, we had this one right. It's not really a big deal that we that that shit didn't work anyway because of course we had the weather controller that's just ended. So quite literally thirty seconds ago in game the weather controller stopped. Then we had a weird event happen. I have no idea what this is. Oh, we had two snow leopards turn up and then die. So I had to clear that one up. We've had this event here, which is relevant because that's still going on right now. A whole tribe of travelers have arrived within the area of your colony. You can only imagine what fate has decided for them to endure this destiny. So we've got down here an entire group of people. I don't know who they are. Enemy predator slasher of the Lotran Treaty. 18 of them. And the worst part is they're actually really well armed. Like really well armed compared to us. I'll be honest. Really won't be surprised if we lose a few people. And I think a few people would be generous at best. They're not only way more well armed than us, but there's well, more of them than us. Um, and our people don't exactly have armor. In fact, a lot of them don't even have clothes. We still haven't quite finished Security 3 yet, so embrasures are off the table. We'll come over to kind of this area here. I mean, shit, even lining up here where it's not exactly perfect cover, we can at least take them one at a time, which will work. I'm just hoping these guys can come over. Are they, are they going to attack us or what? Following L Laborcon. Who the fuck is Laborcon? Purple Bren, following Laborcon. Is this someone in the lead? I wonder if they're just moving through the area. So we have the opportunity to attack them if we want. Is that the... Oh, no, it looks as if they might be making a beeline to our base now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, look, let's line just, like, everybody up here. And then those with melee weapons. So Malongo is the only one without a... Uh, so it's Malongo and Mayo. Do you have a weapon? Mayo did have a weapon, but I think when Mayo was downed... Shit, we do have the tornado generator. Oh, we can't use it. Oh, you need cataphract armor technology to use it. Oh, shit. I was going to say that's our get out jail free card if things get a little, uh, a little spicy here. But never mind then, I suppose. Let's spread these people out as far as possible. Let's do something like something like that, I suppose. Not really ideal, is it? But there we are. Are we, are we still waiting on someone to turn up? Who is it? Oh, Tiffy, you're miles away. Tiffy has a really good gun as well. Shit. Okay, are they coming in? It looks as if they might be. Oh my god, we got a raid from the... They've dropped in right on top of you? Oh, well, it's a bad day for those two. Oh god. The tension. Hello? Ah! Oh! What is that? What is that you've just thrown at me? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I won't lie. That's a problem. Haul ass. Well, that was lucky. That was very, very, very fortunate. Holy crap. 
Uh, we've got you. Uh, are you any good? Not really. What I was actually looking for is their gear. They've got two plasma grenades, and this person has a M24 sniper rifle, whatever that even is. If we strip them fast, we get someone here with grenades, or actually back here with grenades. They pop up, grenade this. These guys die. Are they coming in? They're going round. Well, maybe they're not interested in fighting us. That makes me think. Do we want to just try and pling at them as they walk off? Get in a couple of hits, see if we can get some more weapons out of them. I don't want to push my luck and have them turn around and attack us. Because these guys are far more well-armed than we are. But if we get, say, a couple of good rifles out of it, that alone will make it worthwhile. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the plan. Are these guys worth capturing, do you think? I don't think they are. No, we need to focus more on combat stats right now, and I'm not I'm not seeing it. We've got the, the grenades. We've got the weapons, so I, I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's get you stripping these guys. And then I'll bring... Shit, you know what? I'll, I'll bring these guys up as well, if they can hit anybody, just in case things do go all right. It would be good to have a little bit more backup in case shit does hit the fan. Shoot who you can. Take them out. Right, well, that's pissed them off. It's pissed them off, but they're kind of, like, panicking. Okay, if we can split them up like this, that works fine. Get into cover where we can. Probably easier said than done at this stage. Put you there. I mean, that's kind of in cover. Bring you up. You can come forward. You go, like, there. Oh, no, let's bring you back behind that tree. You're going there. You move forward. You go there, and then you come up to here. Put the child on the front line. They're far easier to replace a newborn child than it is to replace like a like a 30-year-old man. That's just science. Are you in a Paragon helmet? Is that what that is? Uh, oh, it looks similar to the uh, Rimmer Magic helmet. Look, we've already got some good stuff coming in here. A little bit of an ambush. I like it. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're just trying to pass by the area. And now I've just, uh, just come and attacked a band of refugees. Premium war crimes. That's high-tier war crimes. Let's bring Bambi up to here. There's a good amount of cover in these trees. Pig got hit. Bleeding out in three hours. Pig, get out of there. Pig, get out of there and self-tend. Right, you'll be fine. Good amount of damage we're doing here. Holy crap. Insane amount of damage. Organ got hit. Bleeding out in 16 hours. Organ, fuck off. Nice. There's another one down. You know what? I'm glad we did this. It's very unethical. But, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know. It's just one of those days. It's Rimworld. It's Rimworld. Uh, what are these guys doing? I was kind of hoping they'd come around the corner and get shot. Well, let's take a look through some of these people, then. Uh, uh, but, well, why don't we just take a look at how long they're going to bleed out and before we try capturing them. There's no point getting our hopes up, eh? 0 0.7. 7 seconds, I feel like, is uncapturable. Uh, right. Okay, here's the plan. You're bleeding out in 7 seconds. We're not going to be able to get to you. Bambi move forward. Bambi's a bit more sacrificial, hence the name. We're going to get you to just strip all these people. If nothing else here, we've got plenty of clothes and potentially plenty of weapons. Let's just go back and forth. Strip you and then strip Seahorse. We'll keep the other people on guard just in case these guys come down. They're just kind of standing there menacingly. Oh my god, look at this stuff we're getting though. Pump shotguns. I like the sound of that. We've got a Walther. WA-2000 rifle. I don't know what that is, but it's better than what we've got. That's a fact. What have we got here? M24 sniper. Another one. Boom. Look at this. Look at this. What do we get from you? A Vector CP1. Okay. And then let's move up. Is it worth stripping Woodpecker, do you think? Uh, dangerous, but maybe we can make it work. Is that everybody stripped over here? It certainly is. They're fucking off again. I could be persuaded to chase him down. What have you got? Beretta CX-4. I don't, I, I don't know the... Uh, you know, obviously any of these guns. I don't know anything about guns. But... Should we chase them down? Why am I asking? Of course everybody's probably going to say yes. Right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Bring the pain. Bring even more pain. We bought them emotional pain. Let's bring them physical pain. They're going to escape off the map. No, you don't. We need to stay behind cover, though. What are they doing? They're coming back? They're coming back? Okay. They are coming back. Viva, I'm so sorry. I don't know why that one person broke off there. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why he's done that. But he has done it. That's the important thing. Let's put you up there. Get you there. 
We've got cover. They don't. But to be honest, they are, like I said, a bit more well-armed. Viva could be in a little bit of a fucky-wucky situation here. Organ, how are you doing? 13 hours. And let's get... Okay. Um, Not a fan. Let's bring you guys, like, up. But, like, through this way. Bring me lips as well. I think I'm going to manually pick some targets. Let's kill Bren. Fucking hell. We're going to get suppressed like crazy here because they've got automatic weapons. We don't. Bren's down. Okay. I want you to go for whoever's got that automatic weapon. Is that? It's got to be that thing. A big machine pistol. Done. Get him. Get him. Are you, are you, taking, a, are you taking a break? What was that? Was that go juice? It was go juice. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Go for that person if you can reach them. We might hit someone else along the way, though. Are you seriously stopping for smoking Berserk Herb? What the hell is Berserk Herb? That was a good hit. But I think that's 16 hours. Why are we not firing? There we go. I guess just out of sight a little bit. Eh? Oh, shit. I think we might lose Viva. I don't think there's anything I do about Viva unless we can get forward to tend them with, uh, with Pig. But that would just be a death sentence for sending them forward, wouldn't it? Okay, um... Why can they not see them from there is my question. They can. I guess it's just the forced attack interrupting it. They can acquire targets, it's just they can't see that particular person, so they're just not going to fire at all. Very weird. Nog Tuggler. Oh, that doesn't look good. Okay, we're fine. Oh. <gasps> Okay. Kind of expected it. Not a problem. Not a problem. I wasn't expecting them to turn around like that. I'll be honest. They aren't regular raiders. They don't follow regular remote raiding rules here. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Tiffy's got a corpse obsession. Tiffy needs to fuck off. Okay. We killed them just as they threw one. That's quite annoying. Okay. Back off this way. Nice. Should be fine. Okay, no shrapnel problems. Let's get you there. Let's get you there. Suppress them. Okay, let's go snapshot with these two. Oh, no, shit. We can actually go suppress. Shows how much I know about combat extended. <laughs> let's go auto and then suppress. I wonder if we could bring you around for like a, like a flank. No, no, no. Go this way, you idiot. Okay. I hate this idea, but it might work, so I can't be mad. Oh, there was another one there. Well, that was that was a terrible idea in hindsight. It might work. It might still work. It will work. Friendly fire. Excellent. 10 out of 10. That was intentional. Okay. Get, turkey, get out of the way. Oh, what a shot. Did that hit? Was that a hit? I can't really tell. Okay. We've got a few more. Dolphins down. Uh, I will admit, I'm not really surprised. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed this. We should have just taken what we've got. Eloros is suppressed. Why can we not hit that person there? More importantly, why are they just not firing? I'm going to bring you down to here. Spongy, let's bring you down as well. How are we doing for health? Hang on, let me just double check here. 3 hours, 4 hours, 20 hours, 12 hours, 7 hours, 10, 3. Okay, we've got a couple of people on death store a little bit. Let's throw down a couple of sleeping spots. So how many, how many are still up? You're tending. You're watching for targets. Okay, lips get down here. Cold still get down here. Spongy is fine. Bambi's not necessarily fine, but still in fighting form. Oh, what a hit from Nug Tuggler. Another one of those, please, Nug. Yes, yes. Push him back, push him back. Come on, Spongy. Come on, Spongy. Damn. Nice, good hit, good hit again. Putting out one hour. Fuck it, let him die, let him die. Get out of there. Don't put yourself on the front line. Right, okay, so let's get Pig. Where is, where is Pig? Pig, 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 Pig. Come over here, Pig. That'll do, Pig. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, rescue cold still. Let's get you patched up. Dolphin is our other doctor. Dolphin is currently uh, unavailable. Please try again. Bambi, get over here. Bambi, tend to lips. Shit, how many? There's still three of them left. Fucking hell. This was to kind of be expected, given the... I thought that snow leopard was going for us. It's our snow leopard. Come on. Come on. Finish it, Nug Toggler. 
We need to get out there and rescue Dolphin. Dolphin's putting out six hours, so it's actually kind of all right right now. Nine hours, one hour, three hours. Okay, let's finish that tending on cold steel. Then you go for Arkansas. 18 hours on you. Okay, we can we can juggle this. We can juggle this fine. Medical emergency is Lips. Lips about to get tended again. Bambi's also bleeding out an eight, so Bambi might go down in a second. Pig is stable, still from last time. Two hours on you. Two hours on you. Okay, we'll be okay here. We'll be okay. We need to we need to get these people to Oh shit, did we kill Nice, we killed Elros. Is it worth ris risking trying to rescue rescue Dolphin? I'm really hoping we can take you out. We're gonna just need tending. You're you're miles away. Bleeding out in eleven hours. Wandering. Yeah, wander out into the firing range. Good, 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 good. They're down. What are they doing? Tending. Can we just walk up to them and put a bullet in them now? Uh yep. You still can't see them there. You're a fucking liar. What what are you doing, Spongy? Like, how can you not see them? Nice! There we go. Okay, okay. The other one is up there. One one good hit will do it. One good hit will do it. Please. Hit, for God's sake. Uh I mean, look, they're not firing back. There we go. Okay, seven hours. Right, get dolphin rescued. Get dolphin rescued. Get you stripped. What have you got on you? Well, yeah, sure. Get get him stripped. Let's get everybody stripped. Fleeing in panic. Mental state for... Okay, we haven't got to worry about them anymore. That was very messy. I'll be the first to admit that was very, very messy. I haven't played Combat Extended in a long, long time. But I wanted to push it because we've seen how long it takes to craft a single weapon. We've seen how many resources it takes to craft a weapon. Just by getting more weapons, not only A, can we recycle them down back into the mechanical parts... But B, it saves us having to craft weapons in the first place, right? And they're better weapons than what we can craft right now anyway. We haven't got the research to make half of this stuff that we've just looted. So this is, um... I think this is pretty incredible. Nugtuckle, do you want to, like, finish the finish the job there with, uh, Phaeron? For God's sake. What's your shooting skill? 5.22. What? Where are you taking that corpse? Stealing? It's your man! <laughs> And what did we, what did we, I mean, I mean, if we've really paid much of a price here. We lost Viva. Who, who, who had good traits, but they weren't key to the colony, really. 10 shooting, single passion. It's, oh, any, anybody dying is a loss, of course, but it wasn't that big a deal, in my opinion. So let's get, let, let's just make sure the people who are down are going to be fine. So 17, 18, 8, 4 hours. So Dolphin is the next one to be in a lot of trouble. Bambi, I'm going to get you to self-tend, pal. You self-tend, and then let's get uh, Pig to tend to or, or patch up Dolphin. Bambi went down. Okay. Spongy, leave. Who else has got medical? It's just Pig. It's just down to Pig here. Bambi's actually fine. It was what? It was a single injury. They had their ear shot off. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair enough. All right. So let's patch you up. Uh, oh no, Lips needs patching up now. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay, patch up, patch up, patch up. Okay, there's one tending there. And another one. And we're good. Okay. So, one condition needs tending, but it's not life-threatening. You're fine. Seven hours, 17 hours. So let's go Dolphin next. Fuck! Okay, that's a problem. Uh, right. So who's next on the list? Spongy. Spongy, I know I told you to go and take a day off. Uh, I need to come back. <laughs> I need to, I need to come back like pretty pretty fast actually. Oh Christ, is patch up determined by their medical skill? Can we not just go tend? Because there isn't an option for patch up on here. With uh with Spongy, we should just go full on tend then. I mean if there's there's I assume no functional difference between patch up and tend. Bambi's back up. There's probably no difference between them. If you're not using medicine anyway. Bambi is back down. <laughs> Arkansas's got an infection. It's like tending someone on a forest floor is a bad idea for their health. Got your gun ready though, which I appreciate. Right, so you're fine. Uh, so it's just cold steel. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see, this is this is where the medicine's going to come into play. So let's go untick all of these. And then can we start getting into an actual bed now, please? There we go. Dolphin and Arkansas and Spongy. And Lips. That's not much of a surprise at all. I will allow medicine for, for all of them, obviously. Uh, who else have we got that's still up? 
Malongo. Grab Dolphin. Okay, here it goes. 98% 10 quality. Pig, you incredible man. 31% spread. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Could be a slight problem there. I won't lie to you. Wait. Who was infected? Dolphin? And... I thought Arkansas had an infection. Am I losing my mind? Was it Viva? Viva died. No, it wasn't Viva. What the hell? Lips? Lips doesn't have an infection. Hey? Lips has been infected in her stomach. Wrong. Uh, Dolphin's got an infection. Spongy, Arkansas. Well, Arkansas doesn't have an infection either. What the fuck? <laughs> Is there a... Maybe there's a mechanic where you might get a treatment so good the infection clears up immediately, but that doesn't sound right. Well, anyway, my point is going to be Dolphin is probably going to fucking die because she's decided to go out here and have a meal and just kind of fanny around for a bit. Let's make that medical bed and then let's force her to rest until healed because otherwise she is almost certainly dead. Uh, Pig, tending to Eugenia. What's wrong with Eugenia? Show me. Right, we had a prison break. Uh, uh, so I've killed the prisoner. <laughs> As you rightly should, I think. Now we're going to go tend to Dolphin. 100%. The organ's gotten an infection. Oh, for fuck's sake, it never ends. At least sensible, sensible organ is in bed. Unlike his wife, who is soon to be his ex-wife. Not on account of re relationship and marital problems. On account of her being unalive. Uh, infection. Show me 47%. Oh, no, she's actually fine. Wait, she's got immunity. She was just running around like a twat. Unbelievable. <laughs> what? I genuinely assumed that the uh, the infections would be way harder in this. I, I thought they'd go for a bit more of a the uh, kind of the difficulty through inconvenience or or micromanagement. Things like infections seem pretty pretty on brand for that. But look, she's just staying in bed. I mean, Pig is a good doctor though, right? Not really. Ten medical. I mean, this medicine's like. You know, like the good stuff. But organs, 15% and 14% immunity as well. Spongy is 42%, 41%. The, the immunity is caught up to the infection in like two seconds flat. Are we not going to lose anybody? I'm, I'm a little bit surprised with the exception of Viva. Viva had a grenade lobbed at her. At her head while she was on the floor. Nobody's surviving that. No amount of good medicine is going to save you from that. Please bury Tony. No empty accessible spot configured to store it. Uh, who have you buried in there? Spongy? Wait. Contains Mashagon? What? You buried a shrimp. <laughs> it's made so much better. By the fact that it is like this solid chunk of hand-carved jade for a shrimp. Oh, God. Go home, Tony. Go home. Fucking shrimp. What's a phoenix? I mean, I know what a phoenix is, but I don't know what a... Like a phoenix. Oh, it's a dragon. Shit. Hello. I kind of want to tame it. Uh, It has a fire heart. Did it, did it say that? Yeah, yeah, the hearts will continue to pulse with heat even after the creature has died. So it's the opposite of that, uh, was it the Kirin that we saw? A massive comfortable temperature, 2,000 degrees C. I think the person who was good at, uh, handling animals ended up dying, didn't they? Yeah, oh, that's a shame. We can't do anything about that. Is it going to walk through and light fire to everything, like the, uh, the cold one froze everything? Seems like we might be fine. Oh, shit. Wow, that's quite nice. Congratulations, Viva. I mean, you're... You're dead, but congratulations. <laughs> I might ramp up hauling for a little while. Oh, to be fair, I've already got hauling since tier one, apparently. Uh, I might ramp that up just so they get out there and collect all this crap that we've looted. We put someone's life on the line for this stuff, so we might as well go and pick it up, eh? Lining the inside of the kill box with heads on spikes is kind of high tier. As if they wouldn't regret it before. We'll make them regret it now. That's 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 good. I like that. Let's do a quick infection check. We've got... So, Spongy is, is fine. 
That's good. Developed immunity. Can't really amputate it also, so that's quite nice to see. Infection major. 84% immunity, 77% spread, but bad 10 quality and needs tending now. So, Pig, if you could... Pig's already on it. Pig's already on it. Have more faith in Pig. 30%. Better than we're not using medicine. Honestly, I think that's going to be okay still. Maybe a little dangerous. We'll keep an eye on it. And if it gets a little bit too high, we'll just pull that arm off. But you should be fine. They're moving more or less at the same pace. In fact, the immunity is still moving slightly faster. Dolphin... Dolphin's fine. Shit, Dolphin's like completely good. To be fair, their, their immunity grew real fast. And... That's like actually it. Wow. We got like a lot to show for that. It was, it was not handled perfectly well. But what we got to show for it was incredible. And now, to make it even better, we've got a dress merchant. wonder if they feel like they just wandered into the rough neighborhood. <laughs> As if the heads on spikes didn't give that away. Razor rain imminent. Oh, good. I was looking forward to that. Have we not got enough room for... Oh, it's the bodies. We haven't got enough room to store all these bodies. That's, that's, that's great. Some debris and orbit around the planet start to fall into the area. Brace yourselves. Well, I don't know how much I can quite brace ourselves for that. If we were on a mountain map, I suppose we might be able to break. We could always mine this out and, and hide in there, I suppose. Okay. That one was a little bit close. Keep an eye on the map. Look for, I guess, fire. Oh, shit. I better not hit the dress merchant. Had a couple of close calls, but still nothing significant. One there, one there. A little bit by the quarry. Overall, shit's still fine. Everything's fine. That just hit my bloody pier, which is, I guess, okay. Could have been a lot worse. We should really start hauling on this steel slag back to the base, shouldn't we? Because steel slag, I assume... Jesus, there's a lot of it. I assume we can smelt that down, get this right into steel. Then we avoid having to mine iron and... We're at 25% on the quarry. Iron and coal as well. Ooh, that'd be quite good. Uh, how do we, uh, Let's type into steel slag. Sl slag? Metallurgy. We've already got metallurgy. I guess we need an electric furnace then, huh? Because this... Does this allow us to smelt steel slag? Doesn't seem to. Smelt metal from slag. There we are. It's the electric arc furnace. Or the electric smelting furnace. Or actually the Ratkin electric smithy can do it. And I believe we can already build one of those. Uh, smithy and then Ratkin electric smithy. Electric components and steel alloy. That would be massive if we could get that pretty soon. I don't know if maybe only Ratkin could work at it. Which would limit it to... Mayo? I think. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We just got a bunch of uh, steel slag at our doorstep. So that's... Uh, Something not a bad thing. The organ okay. Oh, yeah, you're fine now. There we go. Small leaf cultivation's really coming along well as well, huh? That'll be that'll be the backbone of our industry when we get some trade ships. God forbid, maybe when we get an orbital trade beacon. Oh. Silver sword. Iron world fast walker swift reflexes. That is incredible. Skill with shooting melee animals social. Hello. Well, that's actually really good. Like all good traits. Good at melee? Ratkin Shepherd Girl and now an archer. Ratkin Shepherd Girl, you're not Ratkin though. Oh, we don't have the animal skill to actually tame the person with the animal's passion. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, good. My head's on spikes. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> All these weapons are super, super damaged. Granted, they were relying on the floor for a lot while. Obviously, they've come out of combat too. I assume there are, and I'm pretty sure I've seen them on the crafting table somewhere... Weapon repair kits. Weapon... Uh, let's talk, just type repair. Android repair kit. Repair complex weapon repair simple weapon. Mending workbench. Ah, oh, okay. 135 rugged metallic. Uh, 30 synthetic... Oh, shit. We need synthetic fibers for it. How do we make synthetic fibers? That's got to be at the loom? No. Synthetic fibers is petrochemistry. Rimmerfella. Okay, so basically forget about that. Then unless we can buy the synthetic fibers, don't worry about it. <laughs> Attack for profit. Yeah, as if we haven't done that enough today. Aluminium power armor helmet. What the hell is power armor helmet? Oh, wow, look at that. It's carbon compound paste, synthetic fibers, magnetic material, hex cells, and we have none of that. I created a hyper tailoring bench. Wow. Uh, it's... I don't know. Is that good? <laughs> I was going to say, well, it seems good, but honestly, I have no idea how to interpret the combat extended stats, to be honest with you. Oh, it's made out of aluminium. Well, that sounds detrimental. Uh, 
Bamboo pan piano master what? They're gonna send us how many groups of tribes people? Like two groups of tribes people consisting of seven members. Shit, give me that. Okay, we've got electronics components being made now. Then what I want to do with that is use that on the Ratkin Smithy. We we've also got a solar panel queued up, so I'll go ahead and cancel that for the time being. Use that on the Ratkin Smithy. And then hopefully we can smelt steel slag. Uh yeah, go. Unless we need to get another prerequisite research to add the bill into the building. That could be possible. Smell up from slag. We can actually do it. That's incredible. Make Ratkin sniper rifles 303 British. Don't know if there were many Ratkin in the uh, British Armed Forces, but... Right, let's go for... Do forever. I don't see why not. Uh, have smelting me a slightly lower priority, but a priority. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. What does that count as? That's like smithing, right? Uh, control click. S smithing. Smelting. Do ass. <laughs> Do ass. Uh, crafting? Smelting. There it is. Smelt metal. Uh, let's lower that down in priority then, because I, I, I want it to be higher tier than... Ah, oh, shit. I want it to be higher tier than coring, but I don't want it to supersede... I don't want something to be running to the other side of the map to grab a steel slag rather than, you know, smelting metals that we need to, say... Fix the power grid, which is still kind of a high priority. Oh, fuck. One day I'll get used to this. One day. Wait, why are you? No, no, no. You're not supposed to be a crafter. Oh, I, I fucked this all up. I've ruined it. I've ruined the lot. Hang on. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just do that. Let's just, let's just do it manually. Otherwise, I've got to remove it for everybody else. There you go. Okay. I think shit's fine now. 35 high conductivity. I think that was, uh, we was in copper for that before. So let's move copper up the list. Let's put that there. Move bronze down. Wait, how much do we need? 35. How much have we got? 34. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, there we go. Thank you, Eugenia. Very cool. You want a different schedule? Oh, that explains it. Shit, my bad. Pact of Maya. Okay. We got four coming in that way. Two coming in that way. And then one at the top. Another fairly easy raid. I haven't set up everybody's uh, loadouts to have the new weapons included yet. But I'm sure we'll be... Should be fine. Cold Steel doesn't even have a gun. Cold Steel doesn't need a gun. That shotgun's loaded. Beanbag. Oh, well, I guess that explains why that didn't do very much. Uh, armor piercing sniper. Okay, let's get Cold Steel just to equip this then temporarily. But in a moment, when we undraft him, we will throw that back on the floor. So you can have that one. Spongy, let's give you. Point using the beanbag, is there? That'd be good if you wanted to capture some, I suppose. Um. Okay, we've got this here. What was that? Armor piercing? Kind of want to save the armor-piercing shots, but might be overthinking it a little bit. Right, that'll do. That'll do. This, 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 I mean, honestly, we could probably do this with one person. Where are they going, though? Are they not going through the... Oh, they're going to melee attack these marble walls. We're going to be there for a bloody long time. Oh, you moron. Okay, well, I suppose we can at least see what's in the ancient danger now. Uh, 13 Luciferium is quite nice. It's some creepy-looking spellipede. A mega scarab. We've got a hive there too. Well, I suppose they've solved that problem for me, which is very kind of them. What the hell is your problem? You walk right past the bloody raiders. They've decided to steal what they can and leave. How the fuck did you get in? Oh, I didn't even notice that. We've got the minimap as well. I was too busy paying attention to the fucking insects. You're just standing there doing nothing. Go, kill. Thank you, Eugenia, for helping us out. What are you, what are you carrying off there? Arrows? Oh, no. Tragic. Get out. Oh, fuck, they're everywhere. Asian Joris, help me. This kill box didn't help at all. I'm bamboozled. Please, no friendly fire. Please, no friendly fire. Oh, be careful. Okay, we're fine. Take my gold. Okay. Uh, organ got hit by a short spearhead. Other than that, well, that was easy. I mean, if you want to capture any of them, they've delivered us. <laughs> they've delivered themselves quite literally right into our base there. Uh, whoa. Cooking nine double passion animals, ten single passion. Very neurotic gourmand. Well, we do need help feeding all these people. Plants eight single passion is quite nice. Plants nine single passion, crafting eight. I would like grey wombat. This is now a prison. Oh, it was a prison anyway. No, not for guests. It's a prison. Right, you capture grey... Where's pig? Pig, capture grey wombat. I wanted snail as well, right? No, not snail. You, 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 you. You capture you. That's for prisoners now. Uh, right, let's give me organ, capture you, pig, capture wombat, 0 0.6 hours, fuck, uh, dolphin, extracting seeds, yeah, don't, get in there, 
I lock the door. You stabilize. R really? I'm not starting to doctoring. Oh, right. I took her off doctoring, didn't I? My bad. Right. There we go. There we go. There, right, right. Uh, fix them. Please. Fast. 0 0.4. 0 0.3. Nine seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds. They're dead. They're dead. They're so dead. Fuck. Piss off, dolphin. Well, I'm happy to leave it where it is for the time being. Just because that way we can... We're in a pretty good position, I think, to jump into the uh, into the live stream soon and do it on that format instead. We're in a kind of unique position where we're just about to unlock in bridges, so we can start working on the kill box. This has given us some some massive keys to the kingdom. Ancient crypto sleep casket times six, so potentially six more recruits, whether they like it or not. Tech Prosper Persona Court. If someone's on the verge of dying, we can drop them some Luciferium. Granted, they would probably die because there's no way in hell we're getting any more of that in a hurry. We've got a pretty stable foundation for a colony, I think. 13 people total. We've got a lot of good crafters there. I think this is a fine start. I don't know if it's it, if it's incredible, but it certainly seems like a fine start. So stay tuned. I don't know how long it'll be before the next kind of episode of this for those of you watching on YouTube will go up. Um, obviously, I need time to obviously <laughs> do the live stream and then actually edit it as well. Twitch has some affiliate rules where you can't upload 24 hours after the live stream. Bureaucracy. Getting in the way of cold, hard war crimes. And today, we've, we've done a good job with the war crimes, I think. Gunning down helpless refugees. Well, they weren't helpless. They did shoot back. But, you know, for their firearms. We, we could have just taken the firearms, I suppose. But that wasn't good enough for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed Hardcore SK in its current form anyway. I, I think it's an incredible mod pack. I think they've done an incredible job with it. Giving it, it, it it's got a very unique flavor to it with this insane research tree the way they've broken everything up into like i said before kind of an rts style research system is really really cool a really nice approach i've never seen any mod that's done anything even remotely similar to that before so that's uh that's quite impressive ready for the long haul with this one though this could take a very very long time to i suppose the goal is what build the ship and get out as per usual so we are nowhere near that we're so far away this is like this is the type of thing I'd expect to be like first episode of a regular series, maybe second episode. It's just insane. I hope you guys have enjoyed what we have looked at here in its current form anyway. And obviously it will be, uh, be coming back hopefully relatively soon. Thank you in the meantime to CS Grebo, Tinsel Cloth, Fairy Wiz, Ethox, Spooky Booty Banger, Gammon Jude, Dirt Nerd, Officer Pappy, Q, Mr. Moma, and Crimson. For that support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. Stay tuned for hopefully the new series starting tomorrow. It really depends on how fast I can get the turnaround on this next series there. And I thank you as well to Volka, Adam S, Logical Builder, K Shop, Rubicon, Francesco R, Redeemer50288, Marcus Absent, Red Noah, R Wifty, Captain Cuba, Hadgim, Lady Cerulean, and Quagasol.